Hello, um, we're here to help you today um, talk about how to position yourself in a safe and comfortable position when you are working or playing at home. Um, we're spending a little bit more time sitting these days and sitting posture is really important. Um, I'm Jen from Door County Medical Center Rehab Services in Sister Bay and you'll be meeting Lori and Stan as we go through this video. Um, this is an example of a chair you might have at home and I was wondering if um, this looks familiar to you. Um, sitting in this kind of posture for a long period of time can really cause a, a pain and discomfort um, and, and not be good for you. And especially if you're doing something like this, you can actually get overuse injuries from being in a, a poor position for a long period of time. So we're going to start off with Lori talking about alignment. Hi, you guys. Um, first thing, we want to make sure all your bones are in alignment. And as a physical therapist, we're going to talk you through the bones that are most important um, that support your spine, starting with your feet. When you have a chair and if you have the ability to raise the height of your seat, you want to first make sure your feet are on the floor. Next, we're going to talk about your hips and knees. If I raise my stool a little bit, my hips are now above my knees, which is more correct alignment. The whole base of the spine is your pelvis and we have a bone in each buttocks called the sit bone, the ischial tuberosities. Those sit bones need to be um, balanced on the chair so that you're not leaning too far right or left. Why don't you try it with me? So sit on your chair and wiggle a little bit so you feel the bones in the buttocks. Now I want you to tip from your pelvis forward so you're in front of those bones. And notice the curve in the back, which would be straining and awkward if I worked in this position for too long. Now settle back onto the bones where I want you to be. Now I want you to tip backwards behind the bones. All right, and again, this is pretty identifiable as the slouch when you're watching a movie in a, a really soft, sofa surface. So roll back up onto the bones. This is where I'd like you to be. Now Stan's going to come in and explain more about the spine. Hi, my name is Stan Smith. I'm also a physical therapist. We're going to start by giving you a little bit of an anatomy lesson, anatomy of the spine. We have three normal curves and right down here the lumbar, the low back has a sort of an inward curve. Your mid back or thoracic spine is bowed out. And then again, in your cervical spine or your neck, it's bowed in. Now, when all those curves are in place and, and we're standing up nice and tall, all the muscles and tendons that hold us together are in a nice, comfortable alignment. Sitting can put a little stretch on and off of those, those muscles and tendons and cause some pain. The first thing you need to think about when you're approaching a chair is, is where you're going to sit in it. There's a spot in the chair, sort of, I call it a no man's land. You sit right in the middle of it, you're, it's going to cause problems. So right here, in the middle of the chair, pretty soon gravity is going to wear me out and I'm going to probably go into that slump position. That's going to put a lot of stretch on the low back. If I sit on the edge of the chair with my knees dropped down, I can restack my spine in those nice three curves. But that gets a little tiring after a while too. A nice approach is to put your tailbone all the way back to the back edge of the chair or the seat. And then use the back to support your spine. Now every chair is not created equal. This is a nice straight up erect chair. You all probably have that nice sofa, that overstuffed seat that sort of sucks you in. On those real cushy backs, you need to use some type of a small pillow. And a lot of us have small throw pillows and, and around. It doesn't take a lot of thickness. It doesn't need to be a real big pillow. But if you place that pillow behind the low back, put that tailbone way back there, and then lean into it, it reestablishes that inward curve of the low back. 
and a lot of stress issues in the lumbar spine can be alleviated. No matter what, sitting for 30, 40, and uh, 60 minutes can be, you know, pretty stiff. We've all had that long car drive. And the, the, what you want to do immediately, get out of the car and stretch a little bit. We need to try to do that every 20 or 30 minutes or every second commercial. Those come up enough if you're watching television. Stand up. Tighten your buttock muscles and sort of float or push your hips forward a little bit. That sort of stretches these muscles through here that have been sort of cramped up in the sitting position. Next, bring your shoulder blades back together. And you can sort of combine these in a group of tighten the box muscles, float the hips forward, bring the shoulder blades back, grab your hands together, and then gently look up. Gives you a, a full extension posture, which totally reverses the sitting posture, which relaxes all those tissues. Give that a try. Go slow and uh, good luck. Thanks. All right, now that we have a strong foundation of our leg alignment and our back alignment and how important it is to stand up often and take breaks, I'd like to talk a little bit about how to line things up um, when you're using a computer and um, at a work surface. So when you're sitting, you first want to get into that really good posture with your low back supported. Um, your feet should be flat on the floor, knees lower than hips. Everything we've talked about applies. But when you're working, um, ideally you would like to have your monitor at about eye level. Um, it's not always possible with laptops to have perfect alignment because your monitor is connected to your keyboard. So a little bit of a compromise is, is good. Um, this is slightly lower than eye level, but what's really nice is my shoulders can be relaxed and back and down. My elbows can be at my side, my wrists are straight, and I can be lined up on the laptop that way. Um, there are a lot of mistakes that people make. You know, going into this position can really cause problems after a while for the neck. So you wanna think, you know, get the shoulders back, and get your head right above your shoulders because that takes a lot of stress off the spine, the neck, the head, everything. And make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. That way you can take nice deep breaths in the belly and be in good alignment while you're doing your work. Thanks for joining us today.